$20 million each. That will be released in AMO Priority Foundational Manufacturing Technology Thrust Areas. The full funding of two new Clean Energy Manufacturing Innovation Institutes that will also provide annual support for existing facilities, including four institutes, one energy innovation hub, and one manufacturing demonstration facility. And the technologies that enable American manufacturers to use the critical materials more efficiently and reduce or eliminate the need for materials that are subject to display, supply disruptions. Almost there. The Federal Energy Management Program is also in the energy efficiency pillar. Uh, as America's largest energy consumer, the federal government must lead by example. The Federal Energy Management Program's $43 million budget request will enable federal agencies to meet energy-related and other sustainability goals and to provide energy, federal energy leadership in, by leading by example. One of the mechanisms we're using uh, is in, and we used in uh, fiscal year 2014, uh, through a competitive grant process, the Federal Energy Efficiency Fund, or FEEF, awarded $5 million to nine different energy projects within the government, many of which are first-time implementations of, of these technologies that ha have been valued with a total investment of $120 million. So there's a high degree of leverage in these funds. Uh, weatherization. Since uh, the Weatherization Intergovernmental Program, or WIP, since this program began in 1976, it has helped improve the lives of more than 7 million families by reducing their energy bills. WIP works with state and local organizations to speed up the deployment of clean energy technologies and practices by a wide variety of government, community, and business stakeholders. A couple of successes to highlight here. WIP exceeded its 2014 performance goal of 24,600 home retrofits for low-income families by 50% through the Weatherization Assistance Formula Grants Program. And WIP successfully recruited 15 to 20 private sector partners for our Better Buildings initiatives, which help uh, spread at no cost to the, to the government our, our technologies and best practices uh, across the country. The budget request of $218 million will help WIP award and manage its weatherization assistance formula grants and provide weatherization retrofits for approximately 33,000 low-income families across the country. It'll also uh, allow us to provide competitive grants for weatherization assistance in the underserved multi-family sector and award and manage uh, 56 formula grants to help state governments expand energy efficiency and renewable energy policies and technologies. This is... Finally, our, our, our mission-critical uh, cross-cutting support programs. First is strategic programs uh, with a request of $27.8 million to increase the overall effectiveness and impact of all of EERE's technical programs. Specifically, strategic programs launched LabCorp this year, uh, which trains and empowers DOE's national laboratories to accelerate the commercialization of clean energy innovations and increase their impact. We also launched the National Incubator Initiative for Clean Energy, my favorite acronym, NICE, which provides critical support to bringing startups closer to the market readiness. NICE will create a national network uh, support to support and serve the clean energy small business and entrepreneur community. Uh, across DOE, there are, cross -cut, there are these uh, cross-cutting initiatives. I'll mention a few that are key to EERE's uh, portfolio. Um, EERE is focused on, enduring, on ensuring the success of American, the American manufacturing sector, and therefore each program office contributed to a cross-cutting clean energy manufacturing, manufacturing initiative, or CME. And in, in, in addition, uh, in order to maximize the contributions of all EERE technologies to a reliable and secure electrical grid, EERE has undertaken a comprehensive grid modernization initiative with partnership across the DOE and our national labs to develop technical tools as well as design as the design and testing of integrated energy ecosystems to help realize the full potential of the opportunities of a modern grid. So let me just let me just close. Um, 
by saying that the, the sustainability and security of the U.S. energy resources, we believe, are the defining issue of our time and an, and an immediate and urgent issue for us to address. The, the Obama administration continues to show strong support for energy efficiency and renewable energy activities through these increased budget requests and a strong support of policies that were, will lead to long-term clean energy solutions to help meet our nation's energy demands. It is clear that EERE will be a critical player in, in America's energy future and in our continued competitiveness in this growing uh, clean energy technology race across the globe. So in sum, there's a lot at stake, and we feel like we have a lot of work yet to do, but we are on the cusp of, of really achieving something great. Uh, the clean energy revolution is real, and it is happening, and we believe it's up to all of us to keep that momentum going. Thanks for your time, and I'm happy to talk at the end. Uh, thanks so much, Mike. Obviously, there was a ton of information there, and hopefully you'll be able to uh, formulate some, some questions, and it's really worth delving into because there is so much interesting uh, programmatic information here. Uh, I want to recognize uh, one of our um, uh, partners with regard to this briefing. As I mentioned at the outset, that uh, we've been holding these budget briefings every year for a lot of years uh, in, in conjunction uh, with the House uh, Renewable Energy and Energy Efficiency Coalition. And many times either the one, of the, one or both of the co-chairs or the staff will uh, be able to be here as, as part of that. The House Coalition is co-chaired by, co by Congressman Reichert of Washington State and by Congressman Van Hollen of Maryland. And Robert Beesman, who is with Congressman Reichert, is here. And um, on behalf of the uh, of behalf of the caucus, uh, you could say a few words. We would welcome you. That would be terrific. And it's a good chance to recruit new members. Hey everyone, my name is Robert Beesman. I'm with Congressman Reichert. Hopefully, our speakers aren't putting you to sleep yet. Um, but I uh, just want to thank e ESI uh, for providing speakers uh, for this briefing and, and for the speakers for taking time to uh, talk about the importance of renewables. Um, if uh, your bosses have any interest in joining the caucus, feel free to reach out to me um, at extension 57761. Um, we'd love to have you join the caucus, or if you have any ideas about renewables, we'd love to hear it. So thank you for coming. being here. And so now we will turn to um, our speaker, Fred Sassine, from the Congressional Research Service for his take and kind of an overview analysis of, of uh, looking at the EERE budget. Fred? Do you want to come up here? Well, uh, can I do it from here just for the sure. beginning? That's and fine. then I'll move over to the podium. Uh, as most of you know, CRS is required by law to be non-biased and non-partisan. So before my remarks on the budget, I must make a formal disclaimer. Well, the truth is, I'm not really Fred from CRS, and my colleague is not really Scott from Stella Corporation. Surprise, we're actually Dusty and Billy from the rock music band ZZ Top. Yes, it might be hard to recognize us without our electric guitars, but maybe this will help. Uh -oh. If you're going to electrocute me, Fred, I don't want to do this. Oh my God, look at you. Un unbelievable. Okay, 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 okay. Twang. Twang, there we go. Well, now you Does this us. give you uh, confidence in CRS? I just want to know that. <laughs> no bias, no partisan. Well, that you'll find out. I try to get Michael to his So as you can see, in reality, I, I cut off my beard to conceal my true identity from CRS. But Scott is another story. Like Mick Jagger of the Rolling Stones, 
Scott loves his rock star persona. And as captain of his own company, there was no pressure for him to hide his identity. Well, I guess all these years in government caused my sense of humor to dry up, since I'm not getting much laughs here. <clears throat> and you can obviously see why I gave up on careers in music and in comedy. Instead, I chose a much more exciting career to work for Congress. Okay, let's get on with the rest of the CRS fact-checking. Putting my policy face back on. Everyone should have a hard copy of the slides in the presentation. Uh, if you don't, this will all be on the website later. Um, I will refer to the slides by number, which is shown in the bottom right-hand corner of each slide. Also note that some slides are shown with a dark blue background. Those are a little different. They're index slides, each of which lists a group of slides that follow immediately after it, just to help you kind of guide through. So let's start with Slide two, entitled Outline, which provides an ordered list of the blue index slides that can help you quickly find different sections of the presentation if you're just looking for pieces of it. So I'm just going to motor through these. I'm not going to go through all the details, plus really Mike's already done that. So uh, my job, my task was just to hit highlights and show you where the main changes are in funding. Uh, for example, slide three, a blue index slide, identifies the five slides in the overview section. Slide four on highlights shows that the proposed $809 million increase for EERE accounts for about one-third of the total DOE increase of about $2.5 billion. Slide five lists the administration's goals for cutting oil imports and for advancing U.S. leadership in the global markets for clean energy. Unless specified otherwise, I believe these goals are stated relative to a 2010 baseline. Slide six shows the key national interests addressed by EERE's clean energy focus, namely international competitiveness, climate change, and oil imports. Slide seven stresses that the budget comparisons employ FY16 and FY15 differences, and notes that most figures are rounded off for simplicity. Slide eight describes the four functional groupings or themes of major program areas that DOE uses to organize its account lines. The four themes are sustainable transportation, renewable electricity, energy efficiency, and corporate management. Slide nine, a blue slide, outlines the section on funding changes by each of the four themes. Slide 10 shows that DOE's sustainable transportation theme brings together the vehicles, bioenergy, and hydrogen programs with a combined increase of $191 million. Slide 11 lays out the $189 million increase for the rest of the renewable energy programs, which are focused on electric power production. Water power is not included in my slides due to the small increase. Slide 12 covers the major changes for the rest of the energy efficiency programs for which DOE seeks an increase of $388 million. Slide 13 lists the changes for corporate management and in-house activities, which cover facilities, program direction, and strategic programs. Slides 14 through 16 describe the major funding changes for specific programs. This is where you might want to drill down a little bit and help you get to whatever the most interesting programs are for you or for your office. Uh, note that manufacturing and vehicles would get the largest dollar share of the increases. Slide 17 introduces the next section, which provides, a more, provides more details about specific programs. The program slides cover both goals and funding. Slide 18 shows the goals and funding increases for the manufacturing program. The main